All right, waiting for the guys. Seth's at the gym, taking his sweet time, and Lynn's uh, you know, resting up at the beer garden again, just down the street. I feel like to give the chicken leg barbecue a try. So, they got all the cuts out, so you can see it. You know, it's marinated chicken. And then they got the open grill. Is the chef. <laughs> also, um, this is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Tiger fish. So I might give that a try later if I'm still hungry or if the guys want to give it a try. Very, very uh, tropical fish. We can't get tropical fish in Australia, so it's nice. They also have um, sausages. So they have Hungarian and all these different European sausages, so that's nice too. Something different. All right, we'll grab a seat. Okay, so apparently there's this other section up here. I guess that's like the bar area or a bit more flash. But same business. I'm out here on the benches. I'll take a walk. Okay, cool. You got a view of the pool next door. The resort next door. That's cool. Even the neighborhood cat's in. Okay, it looks great. They cooked it up very quickly. Got the achara, the pickled papaya. You got your sauce, you know, like vinegar and soy. Very nice that's all done. And usually they put in some calamansi, I think. There's some onion in there too, yeah. Beautiful marinated chicken, grilled chicken. They came with iced tea. And they even lit a candle, made it nice and romantic. Let's get, yeah, let's get a close up. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Well, that was okay, guys. Kind of disappointing. The chicken cut was actually kind of small and undercooked. And you gotta be careful because you don't want to get salmonella poisoning. I don't think that'll be an issue, but uh, usually the nature of the barbecue chicken, inato or inasal, whatever you want to call it, it's meant to be char grilled, like a nice crisp and nice burn to it, so it wasn't cooked properly. Um, customer service has been weird. I had to ask a couple of times, ask the manager what the hell that place was, and it's just another part, but for whatever reason. Took the manager to explain that to me. Um, yeah, so kind of disappointing, guys. But um, anyway, you know, customer service makes, is something that's important to me, so if people don't want the business, I don't have to give it to them. Otherwise, um, yeah, it was just like a nice snack. I'm still hungry. I just tried to fill up on the ball of rice. So I'll keep, I'll keep looking and get some other food. I just walked out of the beer garden. It's right there, you know. That was a seriously weird experience, guys. Uh, I had four staff standing right next to me, very unattentive. Uh, you know, the chicken wasn't cooked properly. It was weird, and then they couldn't explain to me what that, that fancy area up the top was. It's just a nice fancy bar, bar area. Uh, it was just weird, you know, four staff couldn't explain it. The manager came down and he finally explained it. I asked if I could sit there, and they just like blank faced. I was like, is it reserved? Can I even sit there? And like, eventually the manager said, yeah, sure, you could sit there if you wanted to. Um, I didn't come here last night because it was fully packed. It was full of um, foreigners and backpackers and whatever. So I thought, oh, it's too busy. I'll come back like tonight. But yeah, very weird. I wouldn't go back again. And I'm still hungry. You know, it wasn't satisfying. So on the quest to find dinner again. Okay, I noticed two restaurants down there. Chooks to go and Chooks to go does, is it Lechon? Yeah, Lechon. They specialize in roast pig. And there's another one, um, Senior Pedro's. They specialize in roast chicken. Uh, senior here. Yeah, I saw one before, but you're saying they're closed. Yeah, Chicks to Go. I said Chicks to Go is closed for now, but I don't know the Senior but, Pedro. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll investigate. Just see, okay. just for a walk. Yeah. But otherwise, the girls at the Lone Star helping me out again, Guapa. <laughs> but maybe I'll come back. Yeah. I'll, I'll go investigate. Just, okay. Just check it. There's, there's yeah, maybe it's closed. closed. Okay. Maybe it's open. Oh, by the way, Beer Garden is a. That nasty one I went to is a German owner, but that was that was seriously weird, man. Like just no customer service, and it's like they didn't care. But anyway, <laughs> this new Thai massage. Sorry if you guys can't see it very well. It's a famous chain. I've seen them all over, like they're all over Dumaguete. Maybe I'll get a massage later. Listen to how quiet it is. It was buzzing last night. Last night there was scooters and tourists and everything everywhere. I was just down there, that's the main area, and that's where our hotel is. Hmm. Okay. So, I just worked a little further, got found chooks to go. They got tattoos as well. And Texas barbecue, down a dark alley. 
I think I might skip the Texas barbecue, though it sounds good. I don't feel like walking down dark alleys and I don't have my flashlight right now. But let's uh, check it out. Hmm. You're closed? Yeah, okay, Salamat. Alright, well they are closed. On to the quest for Senor Pedro's. <laughs> Damn, there's like nothing down here. I'm pretty sure we drove past it in town. So we'd actually have to drive further into town. So that's probably why I thought those are Senor Pedro's. They're famous for their roast chicken, that's why I wanted to go there. Yeah, they, they make really nice food. Oh well. So that's beer garden across the road. I was so disappointed. I'm not going back there again. Uh, Seth and Lynn met up with me and they want to go there. To go try the rot worse or the sausage. We'll not give them a single peso. Uh, I'm across the road now at this street barbecue and it actually looks really good. It's actually 150 for that big pork belly with rice. I should have got that to start with. And usually it's like about 20 pesos with all the other stuff. So I got a chicken, I got a pork, and I also got a uh, longanisa. But it looks like a chorito, you know, just a fatty sausage. So we'll give it a try. Okay. And uh, yeah, and, com and it comes with rice as well for 15 pesos. So that's a really good deal. The corn was expensive, 60 pesos. Otherwise, would have tried it. And it's 50 pesos for mixed vegetables. So very, very affordable. Um, I'm trusting it. Indice call. So yeah. <laughs> And his dong on the barbecue. Very nice. Oh, this is actually quite big. You have a, the restaurant in here, so. It's a big restaurant. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Salamat. Oh, well, back on the quest for barbecue. Um, the guy prepared it very quickly. I just thought I'd sit on the street just so Seth could see me. Seth's gonna go to the beer garden, the forbidden place. <laughs> but uh, apparently they served him, so maybe. Um, I don't know. They prefer him because uh, he looks more like an American foreigner or something. I don't know. It's a very weird experience. Extremely weird. Anyway, I'm gonna try this barbecue. Oh yes, I got the marinated chicken, I got one pork, and then the longanisa uh, uh, type of um, fatty pork sausage. But anyway, we'll give it a try. Okay, guys, I'm so hungry. I ended up getting the pork belly as well. So <laughs> the food's delicious, by the way. Uh, the other barbecue was great. Cooked perfectly. And um, yeah, gonna enjoy. Okay, guys, that was delicious. I even got the uh, takeaway, I had to take it with me. Um, that was 240 all up, 240 pesos, wonderful meal, great value. They actually overcharged me at the beer garden, they actually charged me 200 pesos. So, can you see the difference? Um, I should have just come over here. Same with Seth. Seth went over there and they charged him twice for a meal, but he ended up just eating both of them. They, they brought him two meals by accident. They, you know, they just keep screwing it up. So my point is, it wasn't just me. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll close this out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.